Okay, go ahead with your group. Talk about it. My group will be the 4 times 25 equals 100. Okay. And 100 times 8 equals 800. Okay, are we remembering that? Yes. Okay. I want you to discuss to, with your group what happens if I add a 0 to that right there. How does that change this problem? Who can explain to me how adding the 0 there changed this problem? At the end of 800? How many of you agree that 8,000 will end up being our answer? Who would like to walk with me through why that works? Sadie. 11, 1, 000, and 1, 000, times 8 equals 8, Okay. So when you did 4 times 250, you now have 1,000. And then 1,000 times 8 is 8,000. Okay. So what if I change? I'm going to get rid of my zero. And I'm going to change that to 24. What can I do with that? Um, you, you break up the 24 to 6 times 4, which equals 6 times 4 times 25. 6 times 4 times 25. Yeah. Which is kind of like what we just did, wasn't it? Yeah. Only we did it like this. 4 times 25 times 6, we did it in that direction. 4 times 25 times a number. So 4 times 25 is what, class? 100. 100 times 6 equals? 600. 600. How could we take what we just did there and use that knowledge to do this? Work that one out. See what you get there. How could you do this? Your goal is to find the easiest way to do this in your head. This is somewhat of a friendly number, so there's a way to do this in your head very quickly. And so even though you're giving you the paper, the opportunity to write it down, I still want you to think about what would be the best way to do this so that I can do it in my head. All right, who can tell me one way that you did this so that you would be able to do this in your head? Okay, so she did 16 and she split it into 10 plus 6. There you go. Times... 50. So if she does it this way, she's doing the array model, correct? She's doing it that way. So what would you do? What would your numbers be then? Okay, so 300 here. And she got 50 times 10 equals 500, and then your total was 800. Okay, how many of you did splitting it into um, using expanded form, basically? Okay, anybody else? Just that group? Okay, that's all right, though. That works. Okay, and which is, our, is one of our strategies that we can use. What's another one that we did? Um, Devin, what did you do? 2 times 8. 2 times 8, okay. And then? 2 times, oh, here, I'm going to do it down here. 2 times 50 equals 100. Finish. So 800 times 8 equals 800. How many groups did it this way? Just that group? Okay. So that means there's other ways. What other way did we do it? 4 times 2? Wait, wait, wait. What did you? 4 times 4. Okay. Times 50. So you're saying 4 times 50, but you did 4 times 25 would equal 100. 50 is twice that. So 4 times 50 would be twice the 100, which would be 200. Yeah, is that what you got? Yeah. Okay, so you just really, you weren't saying. Okay, so 200, and then we have the 4 here. 4 times 50 is 800. Okay. That is definitely one way to do it. Did anybody do it a different way? Let me do it this way. 8 times 2 times 50, and then do um, 8 times 50. That's a lot more work, isn't it? Um, 8 times 50 would be what? 400. 400 times the 2 would be 800. But that's another way to do it. That's the way that they show it in the book, which is kind of funny, because I think all the other ways are easier. 625 times 4. 
This is a combination. You have a 25 in there, but there's another way you can do this. You can do this in multiple steps. So think about things that we've done in the past, and then think about that 25 being part of it. So go, go for it. See if you can use all your strategies to do that one. You did 600. They did 600 plus 25. There's a little clue. Go from there. Who would like to explain us through this? How about Bella? So she did. They did four times 600 equals 24,000 or 2,400. How many zeros am I going to put? Two. So that's 2,400. Okay. Four times twenty-five equals. Okay, and then what did you do with those two numbers? Okay. Now, can anybody tell me why she added these two numbers instead of multiplying them? Because we've been doing a whole lot of multiplying with things. So why are we adding instead of multiplying, uh, Marley? Remember. So let me remind you. Remember when we had the plus? If you think about it in this form, and that's what Bella was telling us that they did the, um, the chart, right, Bella? So they build the array to remind themselves that it's 6 times 400 and then 6 times 20, or 4 times, sorry, 4 times 600 and then 4 times 25 and then you add those two, okay? So we're getting closer to understanding it looks like. How many of you guys got 2,500 as your answer? Remember, you're looking for the best way to do this in your head. Yes. Yes. Please, 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 please. Uh, what? what? Does 400 minus 2 equal 398? Yes. yes. No. Can I use that any way yes. to make no. this problem work in my head? Talk to your group. When I'm multiplying numbers, I'm always looking for the easiest way to do it in my head. When I'm shopping and I'm trying to figure out if I have enough money, a lot of times I have to multiply numbers in my head. And this is a way that Ms. Harris would sometimes do multiplication that's close to an easy number. Is this an easy number to multiply in your head? Is this an easy one to do in your head? Is this an easy one to do in your head? Yes. So just like I use a distributive property on expanded form, I could use it with a subtraction. So let me show you. So instead of having my array be this way, as in 400 plus 2, I'm going to do 400 minus 2. And my array is not giving you a very good visual of it because it's really 400 and then this is the part that you're minusing out. Right, there's the 2. So when I have my product here of 400 times 5 here, and then I have my product of 5 times 2 here, then I'm going to subtract those answers because I'm taking that away. Because I'm really not working with 400, am I? My, my problem is 398. So let me just show you because this is one of the options. If you understand how to do this, then you for sure should use it. If you don't understand how to do it, it's okay. Do expanded form like this, which we've already done a bunch. Okay, so I'm going to go through this and show you if you get it, great. If you don't, it doesn't matter. This is just an option. You guys get that? Okay, yeah. so 5 times 400 is what? It is 10. 2,000. And 5 times 2 is? 10. So what am I going to do with those two numbers? Multiply. Subtract. Subtract. I'm not multiplying. I'm not multiplying because I put it in my race. So my answer is going to be 1,990. Okay? We'll double check it with our expanded form. So if I did this this way, what is 300 times 5? Anybody? 1,500. What is 5 times 90? And what is 5 times 8? 40. And then we add all those.
it both ways work? So those are two options of how to do that. Again, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do the subtraction. It is just a way that you can do it in your head if you want to.